Now, this is the news at daybreak. Good morning, everybody, and thank you for watching the news at daybreak. I'm Don Lagasse. Uh, Cyria is off. You can see the countdown right now behind me. This is in Auckland, New Zealand. Happy New Year in New Zealand. A live picture right now from their festivities as they ring in the new year. And uh, this is from the iconic Sky Tower in Auckland. Pretty impressive. The first one to see so far. And here at home, we are counting down the hours until 2016. Marla Rooker is live to tell you how you can stay safe while you maybe launch some fireworks or go downtown. But is there a chance you'll be ringing in the new year with an umbrella? Uh-oh. Taking a live look at tonight's uh, radar from our First Alert weather app. And uh, this morning, not a whole lot, Dave, right now to worry about, but maybe later on? Yeah, that was a look at what's happening right now because we're dry locally now. That's good news if you're heading out the next couple of hours. But we're looking back to the west. This is where our weather is coming from. We see all the green and some yellows. That's rain. And from Atlanta, make it all the way down towards Tallahassee, and it's working its way eastward. That's going to give us a better chance for seeing an isolated shower as we head throughout the afternoon today. So morning commute, rain chance is only 20 to 30 percent. We'll keep those temperatures upper 60s to lower 70s and give that impact level only a 2, as you might see a little patchy fog right along coastal areas. But again, rain chances will be going up tonight. We'll talk about that in our first alert 7A forecast coming up at 612. Right now, first alert traffic taking us back into Chatham County. The only area we're keeping our eyes on right now, no accidents coming into our traffic system, but we're seeing a little bit of red showing up here as 516 turns into uh, Duran Avenue here. So we'll keep our eyes on that as we go through the morning hours. Otherwise, we are accident free and traffic running smoothly here on this New Year's Eve morning. Don? 601 is your time. Traffic deaths and arrests always spike on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, and now is the time to make a plan so you stay safe. Marla Rooker, live at the Savannah Chatham Metro Police Headquarters in downtown off Haversham Street. Marla, what mistakes do police say people really make that put them in danger besides drinking and driving? Yes, exactly. There always is driving impaired. That's one of them. But there's also discharging firearms. And they say that you really need to be paying attention. That's one of the things that a lot of people aren't doing that causes them to get into trouble and in danger. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some tips as to how you can stay safe. Now, police say they will increase their patrols tonight. So if you're out in downtown Savannah, you will see increased foot patrols. Most importantly, act responsibly. Have a designated driver if you are going to have even just a few drinks. Uh, spend time with those you trust and know will help you if you need something. And if you are partaking in fireworks, make sure they are a safe distance away from people and buildings. Also, if you own a firearm, Savannah Chatham Metro Police have something to say to you. We tend to see celebratory gunfire on New Year's Eve. Midnight comes and there is this urge to shoot a gun off into the air. We are begging people not to be a part of that this year. Once that bullet leaves your gun, it's going to come back down somewhere, and that could be to injure a person. Yes, last year we actually saw a bullet enter someone's home. This is something that does happen, and we know it can be fun for some people, but it can be very, very dangerous. We'll have more tips for you coming up. For now, we're live in Savannah. Marla Rooker, WTOC News. And we want to take a live look from Times Square this morning because in less than 24 hours, thousands are going to be flocking to watch the ball drop at midnight. 5,000 police officers expected to be out there tonight with plainclothes officers making sure everyone has a fun and safe time. There have been seven different versions of the ball. This year's underwent some tests yesterday to make sure it was in tip-top shape for all those festivities. And uh, we have about 18 hours here at home where you can go and then ring in the new year downtown. It's going to be busy in downtown Savannah as well. Not as busy as Times Square, but busy. Tonight's Savannah Waterfront Association holding their third annual Up the Cup Countdown. This is a video from last year's event. The New Year's Eve celebration will start at 8 p.m. It will go till midnight, and you can see the six-foot-to-go cup rise up the side of the River Street Inn as it counts down to midnight, followed by those fireworks. In the Low Country, Buford having a big celebration of their own tonight with the Founders Night Fireworks in Henry C. Chambers Waterfront Park. This is video from last year. That event hosted by the Buford Regional Chamber of Commerce kicks off at 5.30 tonight with fireworks starting at 7 p.m. Whatever your plans are to celebrate, you do want to get home safely. AAA, 
and Bud Light once again teaming up to offer tow to go to do just that. You can call for a free ride anytime now through 6 a.m. January 2nd. AAA will take you and your car home or to a safe place within 10 miles. Put that number in your wallet, on your phone, whatever you can do, because it's going to help you out if you need it. It's one eight five five two tow to go and I'll post that on my Facebook page. We have everything you need to prepare to welcome in the new year on our website, WTOC.com, including that tow to go information, which is on our news app as well. Lots of New Year's Eve events happening all around the area. You can find it at WTOC.com on the community page. Six o'clock is your time right now. Take a look at your screen. See this radar. This is the severe weather moving into our area with some serious rain heading our way this morning. And that same system wreaking havoc across the southern U.S. yesterday. We have team coverage as it approaches us today. Cutter Martin and Dave Trilly have been tracking this all morning long in our First Alert Weather Center. So first we're going to check in with Dave to see what you can expect. Good morning. Thank you for waking up with us and watching the news at daybreak. I'm Cyria Sandlin. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And I'm Don Lagana. And the big day is finally here right now. It is. And from the parade route to the squares to safety, we have you covered this morning. Take a look. Marla Rooker, Whitney Harris, Cutter Martin all out live for you this morning, making sure to tell you everything you need to know. But, of course, we want to check in with Dave Turley and find out how that St. Patrick's Day weather is shaping up. It is almost 6 o'clock here on the news at Daybreak. Good morning, everybody. I'm Don Lagana. And I'm Cyria Salem. We've got some breaking news that we've been following for you all morning long. Savannah Chatham Police on the uh, Metro Police. They're on the scene of a deadly shooting right now. 38th and Price Streets. This happened around 1.30. Marla Rooker, she's been there all morning for us with the latest information. So, Marla, what can you tell us? Yes, Metro Police still going through evidence inside a home here on East 38th Street, trying to find out more on how this deadly shooting happened this morning. They were dispatched to this area, East 38th Street, near Price Street, around 1.30 this morning after a shot spotter call, knowing that a gun had been discharged in the area. Now, what they found when they got here, two victims, one of them suffering non-life-threatening injuries. The other one was deceased when they got here. That one person was transported to Memorial, still working out all the details at this point, but we do know that one person is in police custody at this time. They're still working to try to find out if anyone else is connected to this deadly shooting. Whenever we do have some more details, we'll definitely let you know. For now, we're live in Savannah. Marla Rooker, WTOC News. Thanks, Marla. And taking a look at the map here, you can see this is the area that's closed east 38th Street between Habersham and Price Street. So you want to avoid that area if you live anywhere around here. This is just north of Victory Drive. Now taking a broad look here at Chatham County, you can see no other major issues in this area. You can see your ride from Pooler all the way downtown looks good. That There's a little bit of a slowdown. 80 going westbound, but eastbound looks great. It is 6 o'clock right now on this St. Patrick's Day. Let's take a live look as they get ready to run the squares. We're taking a live look right now. Some of those folks just trying to stay a little calm because they're going to try to claim a piece of those squares that are so prized. So many family traditions and some newbies all trying to get a piece of the action. So we're taking a look. They've all ran around and got their spots. Whitney Harris is down there. She's going to be showing us a little bit more about that coming up in just a few minutes. Well, happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday, March 17th. I'm Cyria Sandlin. And I'm Don Lagano. Let's check in now with Dave Turley, continuing our team coverage with a look at your weather. Yeah, guys, and we're starting out with a, a look at our first alert radar, and that's scanning the sky, showing that we have actually a few showers starting to pop up now. You can see that now just to the southeast of the Vidalia area, getting a little bit of shower activity, and that's going to make its way out towards the east. So, again, we've included that slight chance for a shower. If you're heading out for that morning dog walk, uh, minor out there is looking at the radar as well. You can see that where are the rain showers? Well, a slight chance here for the morning hours. Temperatures will be very warm as you're heading out for the St. Patrick's Day Parade, too. We're going to see those temps in the 60s. Going to be a warm day today, but again, with that chance for showers, hopefully you got that first alert weather out to track where those showers are. We'll give you your seven-day forecast coming up at 619. Here's Jana now with an update on that first alert traffic. Well, Dave, let's take a look at the parade route this morning. It's going to start at Gwinnett and Abercorn. Head north on Abercorn all the way up to Broughton Street. And it's going to be going to the left of all those squares that it passes by, not the right side. It's going to go down 
the right on Broughton, take a left on West Broad Street, and then of course it's going to go down Bay Street through that whole area all the way till it gets to Bull, and it's going to head south on Bull all the way to Harris Street. So you want to remember it's going to go to the left of all the squares if you're viewing it, and you can't drive through this entire area. We have all the no parking spots on our website. Just click on the St. Patrick's Day box. Don Syria. Well, the big day is finally here, and for some, that day started super early, like our time early. That's when we start our day, so many people are already out, <laughs> dozens of people out for hours this morning preparing for the running of the squares. As we saw at the top of the hour, Whitney Harris, she was among all those people at Lafayette Square. And just moments ago, that mad dash taking place and people marking their territory, Whitney. I hear people like hammering down things, setting up tents. I can hear it. Oh, yeah. Construction crew. Yeah, you can hear the hammering. Yeah, look at this. People setting up their tents and their chairs. They've roped off area. Come look this way. I'm going to pull you guys this way really quickly. I want to show you. People have their Areas taped off already, so it's pretty intense out here, but it's all in good fun. A lot of fun. You saw all those people just rushing out here and just all around. People are setting up their spaces and kind of claiming their areas, making sure other people don't get in their way. But let's show you some video we have of last year. I think it was maybe even a little bit bigger last year. This is a huge annual tradition. They've been doing it since years when people come out here and rope off their area for the best view, and they said up their tents, their chairs, and then they have a four-hour wait until the parade. The parade starts at 10:15, so everyone out here will have quite a wait. They're going to be eating food and just hanging out, drinking, just spending time with their friends and their family. So people are obviously very busy right now all over the place setting up their tents and chairs, but in the next half hour, we'll kind of start talking to some people and see how they're spending their St. Patrick's Day, what they're going to be doing out here. So we'll have more live reports all throughout the morning guys and we continue our st patrick's day parade team coverage now as you get ready to head out savannah shadow metro police will be out in full force they want you to have fun but to be safe as well marla rooker is live downtown so marla what exactly does everyone need to know the roads are shutting down right now Yes, exactly. They are in the process of becoming shut down here at Forsyth Park, very close to it. They said around 6 is when we're going to start to see those closures. I can't tell you that is happening. And it's the area between Gaston and Henry Streets and also Whitaker to Haversham Streets. That is the staging area for the parade. Now, you will see the entire parade route close at 8 this morning. In the meantime, if your car is along the route and in a no parking area, get it out of there immediately we will uh, you're gonna see the bags and multiple signs for these areas Metro Police this is an all hands on deck weekend for them they will be watching to make sure no underage drinking is going on they're gonna be keeping their eyes peeled for inappropriate behavior anything that may look out of place so if you do see anything that makes you uncomfortable let an officer know Metro Police along with other agencies want to make sure you have a good time at the parade today Day. Just know cars are being towed right now. Along the parade route will be towed at the owner's expense. Uh, we take great measures to post all of that information on our website and send out uh, community notifications on it, um, both via flyers and through our community notification system to everybody along the parade route in the staging area to let them know about this. Now, as you can see, Metro Police riding right behind me. They are in the process of shutting down Whitaker Street right now. We'll have updates for you all morning long. For now, we're live in Savannah. Marla Rooker, WTOC News. And as Marla said, plenty of you will be heading downtown today to enjoy the festivities. And that means cell phone service. It's usually a problem, but maybe not this year. Like in years past, you're going to see the mobile and more permanent towers popping up around the more frequently visited areas to make sure your signal is not lost. Verizon telling us their engineers have tested and monitored its network with portable equipment to make sure that all of you at the festival and the parade will be able to use your phones without any big issues. And as always, AAA is offering their tow-to-go services. If you've had a little too much to drink, they will tow your car and take you home within a 10-mile radius starting today and ending tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Just call the number you see right there on your screen. And remember, we have everything you need to know about the parade route, road closures, activities all around the area on our free WTOC news app. Here's a live look right now, so make sure you take that out, download it now. If you snap any pictures while you're out at the parade, make sure you use the hashtag 